the next thing that I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go to admin again, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, talk about the brokers. So new remote control broker, very simple, uh, FQDN, right? Um, now this is going to just map internal. Uh, now this is also going to be the port. Now this port, um, so I like to use 6,000. Uh, you could use AAA, you could use whatever you want. Um, basically, you're just going to utilize the same port regardless, right? So whether or not it's listening external, uh, it's going to be the same port that it's listening to on as external as the uh, system itself, you know, internally from the server perspective that it's going to attempt to connect over. So uh, you're going to make sure that's the same in both places. So I'll go ahead and uh, show you. So this is my remote control brokers right here. So you'll see this system right here. This is my finbroker.finbigfix.net. Uh, like I said, the certificate in play that matches this is exactly identical to the process that we did just do. And so you can see my port right there. Uh, you do, at, at any time, you do have the ability to cycle both the certificates uh, and the brokers. You can literally edit it. So you can see that's exactly what I have there. And um, so you're able to change these settings just as long as it can you know, navigate. That's pretty much the biggest purpose. And then as we set up the remote control broker service itself, we'll configure that. Um, just wanted to show you also, uh, you know, basically with that last uh, certificate creation we just did, it's got an expiration date of a year. And so you can actually go in here and you can always update that key and you can always edit the certificate, swap it out, let it up, update. And then, you know, we just got to stage that certificate and make sure the broker consumes it. Uh, but that's how you get that set up. Uh, you know, that process of it over at the remote control server side. So uh, next we're going to look at going ahead and actually configuring the broker itself. Okay, jumping over to our uh, CentOS box here. So um, I went ahead and have done the dependencies. I sent the fixlet to go ahead and actually set up the uh, broker service. And uh, basically moving forward from that, I did go ahead and uh, open up the firewall ports. Uh, for it to begin listening um, to each their own on how they want to do that. Um, you could do that through uh, command line, um, basically just adding it to the uh, the zone and the accepted port uh, for listening, um, which, like I said, I've done 6,000 throughout this. That's just because, I mean, you can do whatever you want. Like I said, triple eights uh, usually pretty common too. Uh, but this very first directory I just wanted to show you. So this is just a standard Etsy directory. Um, inside this uh, directory, after you go ahead and actually get that set up, um, you're going to go ahead and you'll find a new file there. So I'm going to go and buy it real quick, just TRC broker properties, right? Um, so this is your configuration file. Um, you're going to see in this file that there is a lot that is going to be commented out, um, which is great. Um, this, is, uh, this is not commented out by default, neither is this one, neither is the FIPS, neither is SP. Um, the stuff that you need to make sure absolutely gets set correct, right, um, is first off your server URL, this guy here. And so what that's going to allow us to do, that's the actual server URL for the remote control server. So make sure this is accurate. Now, you're probably going to notice there's a couple of uh, characters here that's going to basically keep it from uh, bailing out during that process. Um, and so just make sure, essentially, that you're going to type this exactly the way you would if you were to navigate it in a browser, right? Um, and it will, as soon as you restart the uh, broker service, it will change it to the way that it's meant to be read. Um, so server URL, very important. Um, all right, so now this is where you start getting into um, a couple other pieces here. Oh, and uh, don't let me forget, public URL. That's very important. That's the uh, you know public DNS entry that you're going to be using that also maps internally uh, and the listening port that I'm going to set it up on. Like I, get, like I said, again, you're going to type this in clear text and uh, whenever you restart the service, so you see it can add in, you know, the slashes and so on and so forth. But anyway, moving forward. Um, so in my configuration, um, you know, basically I've just got a standard uh, port to listen. Um, then I've got the path. Um, I went ahead and this is just uh, kind of my older configuration here, but broker export uh, 2.p12. Exactly the same process of building that uh, demo uh, .p12 um, and the export, right? So you can see I kind of went through on the exact same methodology here. But basically I just placed it. Um, I did this directory. This is kind of a working directory for uh, most things. That is the broker um, outside of the uh, one Etsy file. But anyway, so you're going to give it its definitive path. I find that works best, best for it. 
Um, the next thing that I would probably go ahead and do is, you know, you got to set your uh, passphrase. Like I said, this is a simple alphanumeric. Okay, don't get too crazy with the password. That would be important that that's set correctly over when you first created the key just a couple minutes ago. But anyway, uh, you're going to go ahead and get your passphrase uh, in here. You will type a clear text. As soon as you restart the uh, broker service, it will uh, encrypt it. Um, the other items that I set in this to make it happen is you got your inbound line here. You got the port that it's going to listen to. Um, again, I'm also, this is uh, for inbound connections. I'm definitively pathing out the exact same cert again. Uh, same password. Um, now you're going to see just a, a one, you know, two basic changes here, right? Um, so you've got your allow endpoints. I went ahead and set that yes and allow brokers to connect to that no. So once you have this set, um, that is going to go ahead and kind of get you pointed in the right direction. Then you're going to go ahead and attempt to actually start up your um, your actual service here. So um, the service is TRC Broker. Uh, that's the one that we're going to be restarting now. The, the beauty of the TRC Broker is that if you have that configuration in such a way that it can't work with it, it will not start. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Um, so I'm actually going to take us to a different directory. I'm actually going to bounce the service and show you exactly what you're looking for when things are right. And this also, this same uh, log file gives you really good direction if something's wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch gears to that. Uh, it's the big fix directory here. Good old TRC. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, this next one's broker. Cool. All right, so this is kind of your working directory here. So um, I had to, I had this system not FQD end at a at a you know earlier point when I was messing with this. Uh, once I get it set to FQD end, that way I can match the cert and so on and so forth, kind of make the world happy. Um, and you'll see my actual certificate certificate that I have in play right there. It's at uh, broker export two dot p twelve. Uh, that's the one that I'm using. Uh, but above and beyond that, the logs here are the most important thing, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and buy the. TRC broker, fin broker dot fin big fix, because it's FQDN now. And today is Thursday, sweet. Okay. Um, so the magic line that you want to look for if everything in the world is great on this is this listening line. Um, now, granted, obviously, I've got mine set to 6,000. Uh, yours will probably be a little bit different. But if you've got everything set up correctly before that point, um, you'll see this. Um, don't be surprised if you see an error if you use a self-signed certificate. There's no surprise there. Um, but um, say, for example, if you see a line or anything about, hey, this isn't uh, this isn't correct. You know, I couldn't open up the certificate. There's likely a password mismatch or something like that. But this this log file does an incredible job uh, pointing you to whatever the problem is. Um, so, but yep, yeah, that's that's basically it on this one. Um, so just to you know, kind of let you guys see, I'll just uh, bounce the service like I was saying earlier. If I can type, um, all right, TRC, restart. All right, cool. I'm just going to give it a second, and we should see that listening pop up exactly the same as before, which it is. Um, so this all just, uh, you know, kind of refreshed, and now we've got uh, new lines where it is listening. So I know it's uh, working its way. It's consuming the certificate. It's opened. Everything's great. Um, so that basically confirms that we've got that record or basically set up correctly. Uh, those of you that are working uh, with Windows, the broker install path is all that you're looking for on your um, your actual broker system. So if you set this up on Windows, you know, no problem. Um, basically, you're just looking for the actual configuration file itself, the same one that we've been working with here, which is that um, the TRC underscore broker dot properties. It's just going to typically live um, on the Windows server. See if I could actually pull that up uh, real quick and bring that into the video. Um, so I went ahead. I actually used to have this system as a broker back before uh, I changed it. I, I, I change a bunch of my systems all the time. But um, if you see here, it, it actually showed up underneath uh, C program data big fix remote control broker. So if this was an active broker anymore, which it's not, I've, I've dumped the service and everything off of it, you would see a, uh, you know, TRC underscore broker dot properties, exactly the same process, guys. So um, you're going to edit that, that file and uh, go ahead and set it the exact same way I kind of demoed the rest of it. And that allows you to go ahead and start the uh, Windows-based service, and the logging is identical. Um so, but yeah, kind of going back to it, that's basically what it takes to get this thing 
uh, singing in the next.